Now, here's the science bit. Ready. Could a bendy phone be the future? There really is no driver. Oh, I feel better for that. Click tomorrow at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. Tonight at 10.30, President Trump's controversial visit. Now he hails the relationship between the US and the UK as the highest level of special. At Windsor Castle, the President is formally welcomed by the Queen, despite the fact that it's not a full state visit. Earlier, he'd held talks with the Prime Minister at Chequers, where tensions were evident on the approach to Brexit and on future trade links. I don't know what they're going to do, but whatever you do is okay with me. That's your decision. Whatever you're going to do is okay with us. Just make sure we can trade together. That's all that matters. As you've heard from the President, the United States is keen for us. We're keen to work with them, and uh, we will do a trade deal with them and with others around the rest of the world. Across the UK, thousands have taken to the streets to protest against the visit, accusing President Trump of spreading hatred. We'll have the latest on the visit, and we'll have reaction to the series of outspoken remarks that the President has made in the past 24 hours. Also on the programme. Back in the UK, we speak to the British volunteer divers who helped save 12 boys and their football coach trapped in a cave in Thailand. In Amesbury, a small bottle containing the nerve agent Novichok has been found in the home of one of the recent victims. And we follow the First Lady, Melania Trump, as she meets the Chelsea pensioners on her visit to London with the President. Later in the hour on the BBC News Channel, we'll have all the latest reports, results, interviews and features from the BBC Sports Centre. Good evening. It's been a presidential visit that's broken all the diplomatic rules. Donald Trump has emerged from his talks with Theresa May at Chequers, hailing her leadership skills and declaring that the relationship between Britain and America is the highest level of special. This was a matter of hours after he'd attacked Mrs May's approach. There's more on the BBC News Channel overnight here on BBC One. It's time for the news where you are. Have a good night. Do you think anything has ever been seen quite like this before? It's been a buzz around town, hasn't it, for two or three days. It is a wonderful ground. Such a throwback. The picture's pretty all right, actually. It's like a work of art all of its own. We've so far been quite surprised by all the wickets that we've seen. Sun's out, blue sky, nice day for batting. Instant cricket from the BBC. Available now on the BBC Sport app and website. Here's the science bit. Ready. Could a bendy phone be the future? There really is no driver. Oh, 
It's very difficult to completely disappear without trace. It's Louise Shorter here from Inside Justice. Ah. We get letters every week from prisoners who say they're innocent. I've been in prison now for 14 years. The police believe that he'd switched his mobile off deliberately. An investigation re-examined. There's a line of inquiry which has turned this case on its head. Conviction. Murder in suburbia. Available now on BBC iPlayer. Good evening. Welcome to BBC News. I'm Martine Croxall. It's been a presidential visit that's broken all of the diplomatic rules. Donald Trump has emerged from his talks with Theresa May and Chequers, hailing her leadership skills and declaring that the relationship between Britain and America is the highest level of special. This was a matter of hours after he'd attacked Mrs May's approach to Brexit and warned that her plans for trade with the EU would kill the chances of a deal with the US, though he appeared to soften that view today. At Chequers, he repeated his assertion that immigration had caused major problems for Europe and that Brexit was happening because of concerns about levels of migration. This report on an eventful presidential visit is by our political editor, Laura Koonsberg. <laughs> 